Looks like we're live. Here we are. <laughs> you may want to turn that down if you don't want to get the feedback. Okay. Hey, guys. How's it going, new time? <laughs> yes. Same place. Yes, a little busy real estating today. Yes. So, our top story today is sellers don't wait until spring to sell your home. Yes, the inventory is still um, record low and you have less competition now than you're going to have in the spring. So we are recommending if you're thinking about selling your home in 2022, uh, let's talk and let's make a plan and see what's best for you. Yeah, it seems like we're definitely getting around to the first month of winter and <laughs> it's getting cold out there. However, now is the time. The competition doesn't exist. I'm telling you, doesn't, does it? Is anybody out there for, with a home for sale? I know we were just looking uh, at going on a listing appointment that this week and there are zero homes for sale um, in this whole section in a two mile radius of a highly populated area. There are zero homes active for sale. Yeah, that's kind of, that's unbelievable. I was shocked. I mean, I've been doing this a long time. I've never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> it's never happened before. No. Are you kidding me? So if you've got such a small amount of competition going into the winter, we're kind of in the middle of winter, it's definitely the time to bring your house on the market and let's get it sold. I'm telling you, it's unbelievable. Yeah, buyers are in the market and they are ready to purchase. Winter buyers are always serious buyers. That's right. Uh, we were discussing, you know, like how to sell your home, which is absolutely terrific. I think the first thing to do on a how to sell your home is get with professionals like us. That's where you're missing the market. People think the market is so hot, they can stick a for sale by owner or get a discount brokerage or get somebody that's just kind of getting started out. Hey, we all started out at one time too, so I totally get that. I'm not against that, but I'm telling you, it's such an unusual market that you definitely need professional representation. In fact, we were talking to somebody that says, oh, well, I've got a, such a great off-market offer that they're probably going to take it. Guess what? If the off-market offer is that great, what do you think the market offer would be like? Exactly right. Exactly right. You have no idea what your home will sell for right now unless you put it out on the open market because things, we have heard some crazy stories, things going a million dollars over the asking price. So you just don't know who's out there and who is willing to buy and what they're willing to pay unless you put your home on the market. Lisa was talking to somebody today mm -hmm. and they just got an offer accepted in a different state. So this is kind of nationwide. It was over 40%, right? 43% over asking that they had to offer to even play to get their offer accepted. The agent was representing the buyer. So um, it's just crazy town. And there's nothing for sale in that market either. So it's one of those deals where a lot of people now have their real estate license. We're all for it. We help people every day get started in this business. However, when you're getting started in this business, you're not going to be as good as it as you get the experience. And where does the experience come from? The sellers. The more sellers you represent, the more experience you get. That's goes, right. Goes to reason, right? Well, every transaction, you have buyer, seller, buyer's agent, seller's agent, all the other people, escrow, title, inspectors. Uh, and so you just learn something every <laughs> single time. Nothing. Okay, so let's get back on our script here. I kind of took a U-turn there, didn't mean to, but it just came out. I, you know, everything that's going on in the market is absolutely fabulous for sellers. It's not so fabulous for buyers. The fabulous part for buyers are the fact that Based on our script and based on the numbers that are firmly based in facts, that the equity is going to continue to go up. So you're a buyer today and you paid 40% over market for a property. Guess what? The statistics, the facts are telling us you're going to start making money. If you sold your house and you bought a new property, guess what? The facts and the statistics are telling us that you're going to continue to make money in real estate. Mm hmm that's right, and real estate's the best hedge against inflation. Your fixed housing costs are always um, fixed. 
<laughs> so your equity is growing in record amounts. So if you're thinking about buying up, it's a great time to buy up. You take your equity and roll it into a bigger property um, that's going to continue to go up. People have been talking about the market's going to crash. It's a bubble. Well, it's not that there's all these foreclosures that are coming. Well, they're not. Um, not in our market and not any market across the country that we've seen because people have equity. So if they've lost their job or had, you know, challenges, they have the opportunity to sell their house and walk away with cash in their pocket. It's always a good thing. Mm -hmm. In California, if they foreclose on your house, and let's say you have a lot of equity in your house, like everybody does these days, uh -huh. and they sell your house at an auction or wherever, and it goes for more than what you owe on it, the bank owes you the difference. So they're not in any big hurry to foreclose on somebody that has equity in their property. That's right. If we That's go right. back a few years, they weren't in any big hurry to foreclose on anybody that was trying to short sell their property. It's always <laughs> something. They're never Banks are never trying to foreclose on uh, property. It's expensive. Yes, it is. The bank would rather have you take care of it than them. That's not what they're in business really to do. Um, so take advantage of the you know, interest rates are still historically low. Um, even though they're creeping up a little bit, they're still crazy low. I mean, rates have been, you know, 10%, 8%, 6%. So to get something around three, you know, three to 4% is still an amazing, amazing interest rate. That's right. And we're not accountants. We're not CPAs. We're not tax attorneys. We're not attorneys. We're not anybody. But as far as we know, and as far as what we do on our properties, we write off the interest, it's deductible. So I'm not saying it's deductible for you, but I'm just saying, you know, just a little common sense and a couple of word searches on the computer, you can figure it out. You call your CPA, your accountant, your tax attorney, your, they all know the answers. So I'm not giving you tax advice, I'm just telling you, that's what works for us. That's right. So I think that's what we wanted to talk about today is that if you are thinking about selling your home, it's a great time because there is no competition right now and you are going to be it. You are going to be star of the show. So if you're thinking about selling a property in 2022, uh, we'd love to talk to you about it and walk through it and give you some advice um, and just sit down and have a conversation. Hey, who doesn't want to be a star, right? Exactly. And you're it. There is no competition. There is no, what, what do they call it? Not the leading actress and the supporting actress. There is no supporting actors. You are the lead actor. Yep, yep. You are ready to sell your home. Yes, you command the stage. You command what offer you want to take, which offer you don't want to take. It's unbelievable. And I, I think the number one reason that people or just flocking to the market right now is they're in the same position, right? Because if they're selling something and buying something, it just so happens in our area, most of the people that we're talking to and doing business with, they seem to be leaving the state. Yes, a lot of our sellers are moving away, taking their money with them. Yes, yes, load that up in the Brinks car, or the armored car, and let's go, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Back it up in here, you know, the. <laughs> the, yes. the signs that, that do all that okay and then there were a couple other things in here you had correct yeah the uh, year end stats are just starting to come out because they come out from so many sources but kind of the general one um, Ventura County uh, average home sale price for last year was up 15% so that is really really high and then the days on market um was down 34% to 45 days. That's the average, but it's really more like um, 10 to 12. And then new listings were down 2%. So we are feeling that sharply. It feels a lot tighter than 2%. I think it just means we have a lot more buyers in our market right now than we have homes to sell them. No kid, we were showing a house on Saturday and there had to have been at least 40 other people there. Uh-huh, it was crazy. At least 40, and this was the second it opened. So it was gonna be open three hours, I would say, you know, you're gonna be looking at 80 people an hour, probably, I, I would think. I mean, the cars in the, in the street were actually blocking traffic. It was across the street from a park, and so the park had a parking lot, and people were parking in the parking lot <laughs> to come to this open house. So that's the kind of buyers um, that we are seeing in the marketplace. It was crazy. It's mayhem. It's like a mayhem. Bl Black Friday at Walmart. And I think that property <laughs> is going to go at least 10% over the asking price. I um, mean, it was around 800000 so uh, it's it's just crazy. I mean, 10% over a uh, asking at that price is almost hundred grand. 
Um, and the average close prices now are closing at about 103% of asking. So generally they're going out o uh, over, which we've never seen until this last year. But it's happening, it's happening mm -hmm. every single day. Now's the time to sell. Now's the time to get with a professional or professionals like Lisa and I. And let's talk, let's yeah. talk real estate. Let's do that. So always a pleasure. We're always here to answer your questions. You can drop us a question here below or you can always uh, DM us and we'd be happy to answer them because you know where to find us. GaryLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thanks guys.